is it going to give ah, is it going to give us that and we're back dlg fam welcome to everyone welcome to all the new viewers thank you for taking the time of your day and coming to my channel and checking out all the content i have to provide for today i have a product that i've been wanting to try out for you guys and it actually involves a small room like this and also it is very compact what am i talking about well the Vegu wireless 2.4 gigahertz lavalier microphone that's right so this little item is very small as you guys can see on this picture here we're gonna go ahead and unbox it and test it out to see i mean to listen how does this microphone sound? Is it going to give us that crisp, clear audio or is it gonna sound muffled? I don't know, stay tuned. So this microphone, you're able to use it with your DSLR, your camcorder, your computer, and your smartphone. I'm gonna go into details as to what this particular item is capable of doing, but let's go to the unboxing, guys. I know that's what you guys like. All right, guys, so here it is, the Vegu, I think that's how you pronounce it, VG Go. Let's unbox this puppy right here and see what does it come with, all right. Okay, so it comes with a sturdy case. What else comes in here? All right, your typical manual, instruction manual in many different languages. I'm pretty sure the instructions are straightforward on how to use it, but let's open this up and see what the contents are inside. All right, guys, so check it out. You get a transmitter and a receiver. So the transmitter is what has the microphone, as you guys can see here, and it also has an input for you to plug in the lavalier mic on here. And this is the receiver. This goes plugged into your computer, your DSLR camera, your smartphone, and these are the charging ports. As you guys can see here, it has the power on, volume up, volume down, power on on the receiver, power on on the transmitter. Okay, so what else comes in here? You get a nifty windbreaker where you attach the microphone right here, and this actually helps reduce the sound of the wind when you're filming outdoors. What else do you get? You get a two-in-one USB-A plug to USB Type-C, so you can go ahead and charge your uh, receiver and your transmitter from with only one plug, as you guys can see here. There we go, pretty long cable. What else comes in here? Okay, so here is the lavalier mic. There it is right there. And you also get cable that is used for the camera. The nice thing is they went ahead and labeled each cable. That way you don't get confused. As you guys can see here, this is for the camera. And then this one is for the phone, the smartphone. And one thing guys, I know you're gonna ask, well, this is actually an audio jack. How are you gonna plug this in to your iPhone that does not have an audio jack anymore? Well, guess what guys? You can go ahead and get this adapter that is a type C to audio jack. And I'll show you guys, this goes for like eight bucks on Amazon, so it's not that bad. This will work with older models of the iPhone, the ones that still have the audio jack. So as you guys can see, this is where you plug it in right here. Bam, like that. You go ahead and you plug this into your computer or your uh, iPad that has two USB Type-C. I'm pretty sure they sell an adapter that's lightning to the female audio jack. That way you can plug it into your iPhone. But these are the items excluding this one. You get the transmitter, receiver, phone plug, windbreaker, camera plug, charging cables, and the lavalier mic. So what do you guys think about these little items? Check that out. And it also comes with this clip that you can actually put on your shirt. Obviously I'm not gonna use it like this, but you put it on your shirt like so. So this transmitter receiver will charge within an hour and a half and give you a use time of four hours. That's pretty cool, you know, considering the fact that they're so compact, you could hide it in your pocket, you know, and just put the lavalier mic right here. Let's give that a try so you guys can listen how the microphone sounds. So let's power them on before we plug it in so I can show you guys. And let's power on the transmitter. It's gonna start blinking blue. There we go. You turn on the receiver. So they're both gonna start blinking until they're solid blue. That way you'll know they're actually connected to each other already. There you go, solid blue. All right, let's proceed to test the microphone. All right guys, so now I'm testing the lavalier mic. As you guys can see here, I have the microphone plugged in. You guys might have seen people using the microphone like this, like on TikTok or Instagram when they're doing interviews. This is what they actually use. They use a lavalier mic that way the adapter is actually connected to a receiver. Right now the adapter is connected to my iPad. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, 
I connected the adapter to my MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro did not pick up the actual audio, but by plugging it into my iPad, it actually picked it up. Let me know down in the comments below, how do you guys think that this actual audio sounds? Is the audio clear enough? Is there any pops or hisses? Remember, this audio is raw. There will be no post-processing of this audio file. Another thing, guys, remember, it does come with a windbreaker where you could attach it to the microphone when you're filming outside. So how does a lavalier mic go? Well, that I'll show you guys. So you put it underneath the clothes, right? You stick it into here, and then uh, you leave it there like that. So what happens is your voice is naturally picked up by the mic because it's located close to you already. That way it doesn't sound too loud or too low. There's actually a nice level of volume being picked up by the microphone itself. So now let's go ahead and test out the microphone that's in the transmitter. All right guys, so this is the actual audio coming from the box itself from the transmitter. So let's go back to the actual mic that I use for filming and let me know which microphone do you guys like better? The lavalier mic or the actual mic, which is a snowball mic that I use for capturing all my audio. All right guys, so what do you guys think about this particular mic itself? I think it's pretty amazing and the fact that it's only $59.99 so it won't break your budget. So what are the pros on this particular item? Well, it's compact. It has a nice usage time of four hours. It charges with an hour and a half. It also works with your DSLR, your camera, your smartphone, and your computer. So what are the specs of the receiver? It works on a 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. The frequency is from 2400 to 2483.5 megahertz. The latency is 12.5 milliseconds. The RF sensitivity is negative 85 decibel. The volume level actually has four adjustable levels. The charging is via USB 5 volt and it has a built-in lithium rechargeable battery. The microphone is a built-in mic or the lavalier mic. The soundtrack is actually on mono. The polar pattern is omnidirectional. As for the microphone, you can use the built-in mic or the lavalier mic. The frequency ranges from 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The sensitivity is minus 40 plus or minus 2 dB. The maximum SPL is 110 decibels. All right, guys, so let me know down in the comments below if you are actually looking for a microphone like this and if you're willing to give this one a try, it's only $59.99, it's a bang for your buck because it's small, compact, and it comes with this travel case so you could just put your things in here, pack it up, and ready to go. So this microphone can actually go up to 230 feet away from the actual transmitter with no disruption between both devices. So now the cons to this particular device is the fact that there is no actual adapter that will work with the current gen iPhone and not only that, you cannot use the actual adapter that I showed you guys on a MacBook Pro, which is this one here, because the MacBook will not detect the actual mic. I'm not too sure what the reason is. It just does not want to work. But guess what, guys? It did work with my iPad, so that was great. That actually was able to uh, pick it up. But other than that, if you do have a phone that has an audio jack, you're good to go. But if you're a dad, a gaming dad that's looking for a wireless microphone, don't forget to check out my latest video. But till next time, guys, I'm Tech. Peace out. Man, it's so difficult to record when you have children, especially when you're trying to do a review on a microphone.